All right, the FBI is reportedly looking into some controversial pardons by Kentucky's former governor. That, according to the Louisville Courier Journal newspaper, Matt Bevin is under fire for pardoning and commuting, commuting the sentences of more than 650 people three weeks ago, just before he left office after losing a reelection bid. Among those that he pardoned was a man convicted of homicide whose brother held a campaign fundraiser for Bevin back in 2018. That man insists there is no connection. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Bevin for uh, looking into this and uh, all the people behind the scenes that actually dug into this, done their own investigations. Um, hopefully you all maybe can look into that a little bit too. Um, I am innocent. The pardon was never paid for by my family. That's, um, that's something you all, I mean, common sense can kind of tell you that. Let's bring in trial attorney Brad Micklin to talk about this. Brad, thanks for coming on. That's Patrick Baker there. He had served, uh, I believe, two out of a 19-year sentence, just two years served, and he gets off. What do you make of that? Well, pardons always come under a lot of scrutiny because regardless of the politics, there's always a lot of personal gain behind them. I mean, it wasn't too long ago we saw Bill Clinton pardon his own brother. So obviously there's always a lot of scrutiny. Here we have a governor who lost re-election returning almost 700 violent criminals to the street and people are wondering if that was more motivated by spite than political gain. That's interesting. I mean, in this case, you know, they, they say that the family had raised, what, $21,000 for Bevin's campaign in 2018. He ends up losing re-election. But you've got this young man who was you know, accused and, and convicted of a, a, a pretty nasty crime here, reckless homicide and robbery of a man in front of his family. He serves two and he gets off. Is there anything, I mean, can investigators find something here that could lead to some kind of criminal um, case? Well, you know, some people say the best place to hide a needle is not in a haystack, but with other mm. needles. So it makes you wonder if maybe he released 670 people to hide this one. But even if he okay. did, there's nothing criminal. The right to pardon in Kentucky falls under the Kentucky state constitution, not a federal constitution. And there's almost no limitation on the governor's ability to do what he's doing. There's no, I mean, there's no way that that could be found to be some kind of an abuse of power. I mean, I just can't imagine. It, it seems like if they could prove that it was pay to play there, that, that would be some kind of abuse of power. Not against the governor. Okay. The state constitution in Kentucky allows prosecution for bribery. So if the family did donate with the, I hate to say it, the quid pro quo of getting their son or a family member released, they could be prosecuted. But the governor is well within his authority to pardon them. Okay, here's a statement from, uh, the Bevin, from Matt Bevin himself, the former governor of Kentucky. The myriad statements and suggestions that financial or political considerations played a part in the decision-making process are both highly offensive and entirely false. To repeat such uncorroborated rumors and lies is reprehensible. So tell me, sir, why launch an investigation? If you say there's no way to really find anything against Matt Bevin, why are they looking at it? I think just politics are so motivated now by investigations, and again, I don't want to turn this into a federal issue, but every time there's a question of right or wrong, we launch an investigation. But the Constitution, both federal and state, very clear that very broad, unfettered discretion when it comes to pardons is just nothing we could do whether we like it or not. So if, uh, if, uh, if a rich person kills somebody and sends $10 million to the leader of, a, to the leader of the country, the President of the United States, and he pardons them, uh, that pardon is legitimate? Absolutely, both federal and state levels. Now, again, the individual can be prosecuted for bribery and maybe other crimes, but not the official who's granting the pardon. That is something else. I think that might surprise a lot of people to hear that. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for coming on today. We do appreciate it. Thanks Merry for Christmas. having me. All right.